party, and it'll be like old times in my room, back when we used to uh, listen to music on my Xbox, and you could just you know, watch trippy visuals. Good old days. Ah, oh, you're rated, I see. Wait, what? Oh, you didn't. Oh, did you? Huh. You did. You raided out and still stayed live. Interesting. I was wondering why there was another streamer up on my screen. It had me confused. He pulled a me. If your HP reaches zero, you will be incapacitated. Don't forget to heal ASAP. Okay, this completes the certification mission. Proceed to the end. Uh. What's happening? Emergency message from General Control to all ARC's operatives. A Code F order has been issued for Nevarius. Dangerous photon levels detected. I repeat, a Code F order has been issued for Nevarius. Spatial corruption has been detected. Hey, you seeing this, mate? This is some kind of joke. This lord just appeared out of thin air. False spawn presence confirmed. They're exceeding the tolerable limit. Be advised, all arcs operatives. This is a top priority order. Neutralize false spawn on site. Are these wankers real false spawn? The evil thing's trying to consume the entire universe. Why are they showing up here of all places? There shouldn't be any on the various. Was almost too dead on. Good thing I prepared for the worst. Are you here to help us? Phew. 
and we're safe. We don't have time to settle down right now, though, because the collection point is just up ahead. Let's bust through these things. Wait a sec. Are we fighting these things, too? That's what you signed up for when you joined Arx, isn't it? Your friend there looks ready and raring to go. What's your excuse? Come on, mate. Fine. I get it. We don't have a heckin' choice in it one way or another, huh? You're certainly calm for your first rodeo. There's something about you. Hmm? Oh, uh, sorry. Didn't mean to stare. I get the feeling like I've seen you somewhere before. Just can't place where, though. Anyway, think less, act more. Let's get this show on the road, rookies. Stick with me! Because I love the, the 2610. It's Angel's friend. I hear Devil May Cry. I hear DMC1. That's bonus. That's love. I love DMC. Sorry, everyone. Again, I'm a mod. And Does your current weapon suit you? I apologize. You should try various kinds of weapons until you find one you like. Alright, the collection point is just ahead. We have to endure a bit longer. <sighs> Why did this have to happen right after our certification mission?
attacks on one of the legs. Dark Ragnar, Predator, Defense. What is he, Manus? Shit! Where's that a photon blast? Look what it did in just a split second! All thanks to you two standing firm. Appreciate the help. Surrounding area secured. We're sending in a telep- Drop. Welcome back, everyone. I'm glad you made it back in one piece. Everyone okay? No injuries? Hey, come on. They had me watching out for him. You think I'd let something happen? Now, for proper introductions. I'm Zeno. The one who never shuts up is Echo. Pleasure meeting the two of you. Also, do me a favor and a... Oh, cheers. The name... And this is my new mate. We're pretty fresh out of trade. Don't sweat the details, kid. Those things back there, false... They're actually kind of like... Have a little sympathy, Zeno. These ki Well, sitting around dwelling on it, the sooner you rip off that band. Oh, come on. Don't scare him. You both made it. Uh, yeah. Attaboy often. That pain, that frustration you feel. Zeno's got away with words, doesn't he? Until you realize he's. Thanks, Echo. Just blow everything wide open, why don't. Nice saying. Did you come up with it yourself? And the yeah? Is it. Stop it, Zeno! Look, we're finally arrived. Quit standing there snickering and help. 
Oh my god, robot. Sounds... Shell. Yeah, you hosted Legend. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> Send love to Chell, girl, guys, if you enjoy. Wow. Now that we're all back kind of in thing. one piece, maybe it's oh. time to take a load off in the I'm lobby. I'm bad at, like, shouting people out, but she's played stuff like Fall Guys and Shooters, like COD. So squad up. I was gonna say party games, because I usually catch her on stuff like Fall Guys. I appreciate you, Chill. like actually shouting people out but they are all amazing i support every one of them every now and then and bounce in and out between several different people throughout every day if i don't catch you one day i will always catch you another but i support everybody everyone you see pop in every now and then i, I pop in there so i appreciate all of you guys I recommend checking out everyone. You'll never know who you are. I personally don't really care as what they do. I just enjoy making someone's happy, someone's day. 
I support and I love hanging out with anyone. Hold it right there, Miss. Yeah, yeah. Well, rookies, I still, maybe it was. Good luck out there. What's a couple of hurricanes? Or oh, maybe. This looks like the lobby. Should be plenty of shops here. In any case, I'm going to walk around a bit. I'm going to need some time to decompress. I have been expecting you. Now, there is a discrepancy in the perception of that. My name is... I am a being who is capable... However, the path you... Therefore, I can merely set you upon it. Gather divergences and bring forth the inevitable. The divergence may... I am a being who is only capable of observation. My role is not... I pray that the path born of my regret will serve. Forgive me. I droned on without comprehending how difficult it must be to grasp such vague sentiment. I will restructure. I bid you go to Navarius. I will not say the reason. I am solely an obs.
Wait, when did you? Uh, probably like a good 30 minutes ago. Sorry, my, my stupid program likes to make my sound robot robotic. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Nothing, but it's just good. Sorry, I, my my audio my stupid thing likes to make my audio go robotic. Ah, okay. Swapping over. I just need to download. Going over to the original PSO too. Uh, what the fuck am I on? Hold on, let me let me worry about all this tutorial in here. <laughs> uh, well, I literally. Oh my God. Welcome to PSO two. Yes. Block four. B004. Ship one as well. If you're already on ship one, good. Since you did say you reinstalled, I think. But yeah, block four. Planning on swapping over for a bit. I just wanted to experience New Genesis. Because I haven't really played it. Just trust me, I enjoy the story and I want to learn it a bit more too. Even though I'll forget a lot of it. But I've read the little capsules in Fantasy Star Online over the years and just picked up a lore from them. Besides, I do enjoy the original PSO 2 better. This is what I meant by, like, the area, the maps, the, the, the world you go to. It's not, it's not just open. And plus, I just, I don't know. I like fighting bosses. I like getting into so just The original has a more handle on the part me. Alright, I'm 
Which quest are you up for? for its rich vegetation and variety of native sylvans. Its temperate climate and relative safety make it a perfect spot for ARC certification missions. But false spawn have been sighted recently, and the sylvans are showing violent tendencies. Stay alert. Got the minigun blast. I'm a hunter, but yep. I am a ranger. I'm a ranger. You missed go attack. I mean you can do the variety of So I can there are stuff that I can. Taken over by the entity that is known as Dark Souls. Oh. 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 
That's where episode three's card game comes in. The falls from the Oga flow from PSO were fused together to beat. To, they had to, in order to beat them, they had to fuse these entities together. Fucked up. I want to dabble more into that. That's my extensive religion. <laughs> Not, it's not a guy named Hunter. The principal. Basically, the one who ran. Ran everything against the ship that you were on. Your mission was to find her. She was taken over. Dark Falls needs a human host in order to exist. They always had level design gear for the offline online. So if you're playing online on that, there would be switches in areas with basically just room with treasure that's only open a world for. Them. Playing offline, they don't do that. You're on block four. All right, give me a moment to finish this, unless you can join it. PSO2 now looks, has been remastered. Not really remastered. It's, it's graphics have been updated. Hell, even I updated the graphics on the PS4 for sure. They have the, the client on the PS4. Gosh, like, ah. I think something's coming. Yeah. Yeah. I did overuse it. Ah, the barbarous wolves. Yes. 
Good old barbarous warrior. Oh, yeah. Fun fact, in Towards the Future, which is a boss rush in Fantasy Star Online 1, you can actually control the dragon if you're playing with a friend. There's some steps involved, but yes, you can. However, the dragon is that that's the only boss you can control, but not to my knowledge. Uh, I don't think there's any other boss that I would know about. I don't even remember where I learned this. It's true, I've done it most of the But the dragon is so horrendously weak that you die quick as fuck and you don't get any experience. Which makes sense, but it's fun. And it's only to my knowledge to the boss. Because of the thing you need to the machine that you need to try to remove. Go look it up on uh, Google for anyone who loves Fantasy Star Online and has never known that you can actually use uh, Fight as the first boss against the game for fun. Fucker of Mothers.
Dead. Whatever Dead. that is, I'm glad you didn't do that. saying how's it boo <laughs> good uh, that's good what i meant by i said i didn't do it 
Yeah, I was like, what the heck are you talking about? I thought I said something. I don't recall ever saying something. I was like, <laughs> what are you saying me to? I don't even... Yeah. <laughs> but I had that confusion. I appreciate you being here, man. So good. Yeah, no, I was planning on swapping over. I do really enjoy this story. I want to learn it more. Like, I was just experiencing new Once. Genesis. Believe it or not, I actually went to do it today. I actually had to download that. I didn't know it was like DLC, like additional download content stuff. I was like, what the hell? I was talking to uh, my friend Momo, who I play for Aim with, and uh, she was mentioning that uh, she's played a few games where Later. the expansion becomes the base default, and that's why it was so awkward and annoying to get back into space. Yeah. Because they force you to play the new expansion first for a little bit, and then. Then after like at the initial like hour, hour and a half, then they're just like, oh, now you can go base game by the way. <laughs> that thing is nothing but expansions. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed. Like it. Get... Always. Or in his life. I gotta get on that for you now. You're on here with me. No, I'm yeah, for why I do not? want to. <laughs> I've always wanted to. It's it's a matter of like. Am I going to stick with it to verify the price of it? It's not expensive at all. It's just like... If you're playing on the PC... It's hard for me. I, yeah, I do I have it. I will say this to make it easier for you. If you're playing on PC, you have it easier because you get the first two expansions for free, completely free to play for level 60. So you have enough time. I'm hoping that offer's still going. But if it is on PC still, then yeah, you've got the first two expansions for free. All you want to do is you decide. Definitely. At this point, if you want to commit, pay the sub, buy the other two expansions. I definitely want to look into it uh, a bit, especially once I hit more around the uh, the double digit Final Fantasy era, more like into the teens range, because I'm at 10 now and I'm almost done with it. But once I get into some of that, I definitely want to dabble into it. 11, I was thinking about it at one point too, but I was like, because eh. it is alive. I, actually. I have, but I don't know. From what I can tell you, you have to pay a dollar for the private server. Uh -oh. it's not hey, at least it's easy to access. Someone managed to put that effort in and make yeah. it very cheap. <laughs> so you still want to play? There you go. I for me though, I've tried it and I cannot know where that is. How long do I mean? Yeah. It plays like the original ones where it's like, oh yeah, you need to go to this place, but we're not going to tell you what direction, what way, anywhere DPS type to go. Figure it out. <laughs> that is rough, yeah. I got lost so fast on that game. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, there's, fine, there's like Hi. the first couple Final Fantasy games, but at least there's a limit to how much you can wander off from the main yeah. plot. There's like, there's like an edge of the world map or the sea or something that stops you. So you can only explore so much, whereas 11, it, feels, it felt like it was just forever. Later. But I could go anywhere and I'll, I'll be lost. Fourteen, though, has a weird pop. So... I'm glad you enjoyed uh, that little battle I saw you in just dumb playing it for a little bit. <laughs> That's current in that context. <laughs> it's shit like that that made me want to play it. It's, it's watching like that, even though it's a big investment with how big those games are, that is that is my attention span though. Like, it's not a problem. This is why PSO2 is hard for me to get into though. Like, it's like PSO yeah. though is much smaller scale though. It's just like go kill. You don't even have to worry about NPCs. You know what I mean? Or you know what yeah. I mean? You could just you got your hub, your shops, your that's it. Go hunt. Yep, it's literally a hub based on hub. <laughs> yep, this is a bit bigger. No, you got your no you big got... explanation. But with this one, it's more <laughs> hub based because you've got your big hub here where we are, and, and then, then we just yeah. select the missions and then teleport to the area. And it's a set area, no expanded, no. It, forever five hour trek across one no, side to the other. No, this is why I like the original better, is what I was talking about. You get what I'm saying, where it's more like cut off, the levels are separated, you ch you kind of unlock yeah. it as you go, 
Then you got the initial. Then you got the other half of this hub where the yeah with all the other shops and all the other shit with all the people are. Like and I, you've I, got I, new gen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, I keep cutting you off. Now you. I know you're. Oh. This one's limited, whereas new genesis is more open. It's yeah. It's just with coming from PSO and playing that for many years, and then going to eleven, it was like uh, and PSU even was like. Uh, PSU's not even that big. It's just like I don't. I'm, I've lost that investment, and I just want to play that and other things. And here's a secret for your stream and Mercer in here. That version that yeah. I have of Fantasy Star Universe is the very same one my ex gave me over ten years ago. <laughs> Good jeez. When she really got into it after playing Shenmue, because she went on a big Sega hype after Shenmue and whatnot, and then she got into Fantasy Star Universe and she was like. To the point where she bought the game, I was like, let's play it. Yeah, my Assassin's Creed Valhalla is my old roommate that was being an asshole, so I stole it. Because he thought he lost it. Yeah. When he asked yeah. where I got it from, like, <laughs> when, 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 when he asked me where I got it, where I got a Valhalla from, like, my other roommates bought it for me. Uh, That's what you get for being an asshole, it's mine now, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla as we speak. Oh no, that's the techniques, and I have to learn a skill. Leia! Hello, Asha. Hi, Asha. Well, past me was like, hi. <laughs> Still gets me every time that this game is like one of the few games I know of where the, the text has a text box, but it also hi. has a text bubble that comes off the character. Later. <laughs> I forgot that you can't do that. But I can't really make good use of it there. But you know. My phone is dead. Hi! I'm not a force, I can't really make good use of a fucking spell on my weapon now, can I? Uh, At least learning the skill pace. Later. In case you ever want to adapt the other jobs. Yeah. Still good to learn the skills, are you? Yeah, no. It's been a while since I've played the game. I know. <laughs> the what moment this like game locked me out, I was like, son of a bitch. Yeah. And I totally feel you on you uh, liking this more. It's just a shame though, because I would love to play with me. It's not the fact that I like it more, it's the fact that I, I play for story as well, so I kind of want to do the story. No, more I totally get that. It's just, it comes off as like, you don't like the game though. I don't mean it like that you're uh. negative <laughs> or anything. It's just like, damn, I, just, I really want to play. I know, I, I'm, already, I'm already in love with New Genesis. I tried the gunner out earlier and the, uh, I was actually cool. bouncing with skills up. I was like, oh. Like, no, this game looks like dumb fun, but it also, to an outsider that's never played it, it's like, what the fuck is even happening? <laughs> Especially if you're using the gun and you've got those beginner skills, they are so flashy. <laughs> it's even more with your with your MMO, with 14, I was like, what the hell, all oh, I see yeah. is numbers and flashing. I'm like, I love it, it's chaos. It's everyone's skills on at once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of the MMOs where it's like a, a skill like the the hotkeys but like i really do enjoy the like the dumb look of just raid fights that's what gets me fu loved about this because pso has a lot of amazing fights that it reminds me so much of monster hunter world too like world is you'll so definitely good. enjoy 14 when you get into it then. good well i have some and as, as a fellow person who prefers single player games overall put it this way uh if you say if you waited a couple years to play it then Yoshi is adding a single player as well. So he has. Yeah. He's slowly like building it up. Uh, I think he's built it up to Shadowbringers at the moment, which is the last expansion of the recent one. But uh, you can pretty much do all story, dungeons, raids, like the story wants you to do at the Mythic Ledger with a trust system which is AI controlled players. Oh, that's cool. So if you want to be the healer, then the AI will be the two DPS and the tank. If you want to be the tank, the AI will be the healer and the DPS. If you want to be DPS, you'll have an AI DPS with you and AI tank and healer. Feel free to stop by anytime. Well, at least I have somebody to help me out with it. Well, 
last time I played 14, my f or 11, yeah, the last time I played Final Fantasy MMO 11, my friends, I didn't play it that much because I just got, but I got was getting off the PSO, and PSU, my friends were far ahead of me and unlocked all these classes. I just was at the beginning and didn't really, couldn't get into it. And it just made it on a, harder. On a, on a good note with that, it's kind of helpful in 14. At least then if you don't know anything about your job class and someone else has got that job class maxed out, then they can help you with like a rotation you don't know, a skill you don't understand, or yeah. your invulnerability skill, for instance. <laughs> and you, like you, I am a solo player too. That would make it impossible. So at least I have you to be like, hey, I need, what is this, blah, blah, blah. You know, I have you to. I can't. Yeah. Before, oh, that, that's it's more like, the other oh, way around. Yeah, and it, before it's like, I have nobody. I mean, I've got Momo, but me and Momo just do end game stuff at the moment, getting the max volume level. Hey, well, but like, if, but if, you start, when, if you start, feel free to call on me, because I'll guide you from Oh, definitely. I definitely want to invest a good portion of time to it when I... I just want to free up a lot of what I've really started already. Once I'm really freed up, I really want to dabble the rest of my requests. Uh, but when Angel smooth. does... In, uh, the has a weird hook to it. At it first, you might not get into it, it might drag out a little bit to you at first, you might think like that, like, this is getting a bit boring kind of thing, but after so long, it hooks you in for like, hang on, what the fuck goes on there? Wait, hold on, wait, wait, no, I need, no! <laughs> <laughs> well, good, because yeah, my attention span may... <laughs> so just help me. I guess. I don't know. But I'll do my best because I do want to invest in it once I get through shit. And once Angel starts Kingdom Hearts, I am definitely doing that, so I will let you know. Because that is your request. I can help you, but I can do that as well. <laughs> well, you probably. I know a lot about Kingdom Hearts, but you probably know a bit more. You seem to be more passionate than I am with it, I'll tell you that. So, Angel, I don't know. I'm assuming Angel wants to play them in chronological order. That's a story on audio. Yes. Oh, no, I, I haven't. I, I will I ask. I, I'm. I will ask her specifically if she wants chronological order or if she wants release. Order. Yeah, I can do either. Because I already told her that some of them are going to be cutscenes only. That that's Which, more. Than you. But I'm just letting her know if that if, if she wants to watch that at her own pace, she can. But yeah. I'm just going to let her know. Yeah, the a lot of your prequel. Or, you know, earlier games, the games that are technically some of the first in the franchise are just Yeah, they'd like to mix them. Mm -hmm. And then just, some of them into movies while missing half the points and emotion and feel that the games that, actually get. No, that's what I felt about 358C. I was, like, I was about to say that as well. Because <laughs> well, here's the thing I did not, the last time I played it before my recent live stream of it, which was years back when I got affiliated, I played yeah. it when it first released. And then it, when I didn't play the original 1.5 release on PS3, I played it on the late uh, the, the later one, PS4. Yeah. So when I first experienced that, I was like, "This is." I don't even remember what happened. I was like, "What happened in between this cutscene and that cutscene?" Because a lot of the fights are just kind of heartless, useless, like heartless bosses or whatever. Or nobody. That, really and when you have a final mix version, they tend to add cuts. Yeah. It was it was interesting, and then I played it again. I'm like, ah, okay. And then I remember the plot that Shion doesn't show her face to people she doesn't like that don't know her. Yeah, I'm people like, people she hasn't connected with. Yeah, I was like, oh right, the hood no hood thing. Although there is one inconsistency with that, Bragg. Bragg is an inconsistency with that because every time he looks at Shion, he keeps saying, "Why do you look at me with that face?" <laughs> it's like an angry face that Ventus gave him. So for some reason, whenever Bray looks at Shion, oh, he always sees Ventus. It's Ventus. Oh, okay. I mean, that makes uh, sense. Makes sense. Uh, I, mean, I mean, if you think about where the timeline is at that no, point, it's, it's just after Kingdom Hearts 2, and he's talking about something that happened in Birth by Sleep, and you're like, yes, no, great. Yeah. That, <laughs> Not <maybe. enough. laughs> It makes sense that he sees that. It doesn't make sense exactly. Welcome to Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I was about to say, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts introduced time travel. Hello, Nas. The moment that happened, things went even more out the window. And it's been, oh, no, it's even, it's been in the franchise it's since the beginning. Worse now. I know, it, oh, no, it's it, worse now. Wait, do you see the cutscenes for Dark Road? More? Oh, my God. I was going to say, because it's been in the franchise since the beginning.
Oh, no way, all you get is worse. If you oh, think that's bad, good. they've also they've also been sub padding books. That break is important to the story. They're not on my They keep dropping things everywhere. Right. Slight, slight bit of hello, Rosé. Slight bit of Spanish there. Saying hi to Sorceress too. I hi, heard you. I'm sorry. It's like me and me and this guy are gushing a bit. Sorry. We're in Kingdom Hearts. Mate. Like yeah, we're we're talking about Kingdom Hearts. I'm like I'm barely focusing my stream here. <laughs> That's how good Kingdom Hearts is. Okay, I can say one. Yeah. Oh, is it is, is it any beef between the two of us? I'm sorry. Which question Wait, you and him? Oh, just, just, yeah, I stopped talking to him when they said that my favorite band destroyed every song they sang when they tried to listen to it. So I thought I'm not bothered. Uh, I don't mean to. I, I think I sent you a friend request, uh, Sorceress. Yeah, I deleted it the same day because it still pissed off. Oh, uh, you sorry. I hope you guys are okay. It's I even turned funny. around. I think I think I was in this voice chat as well. I even turned around and said, "You don't see me saying anything bad about your music, but then you're just saying that my favorite band that I'm trying to show people at the time that even Mercer was in is into at the moment. I don't know if you're still into it, Mercer, but like, uh, yeah, we were just like happy and trying to show people a band that's not really known, and then that kind of like, uh, yeah, I uh, I didn't mean to throw my I'm opinion out like that. To be honest, I'm very sorry if that's the whole case. Yep. I I should have been more considerate. Well, I also should have been there more myself because like it resulted into him oh. possibly the reason why you left. I apologize. Fine, don't worry about it. Yeah, no, 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 you're I, a good I, friend. I, you're still I, here. I yeah, that that, that, that hurt me a little because I felt like what did I do? I I don't. Well, in sure, all I'll say time. all I'll say for reference is just imagine something you love and want to show people, and then they turn around and say it's horrible. And, Discussing no, all that, the light. Definitely. So, yeah, definitely. that's a, yeah. But I, I, I think I learned my lesson the hard way, and oh it, no, it, trust it hurt me. me. So have I. I've learned that in the past, and when he left, it hurt me because I was like, "What happened?" And then yeah, it, I was like, "You don't, you don't, you were, you, you I told me you don't feel you connected." I was like, "Yeah, I know you only really talked to me and Angel." And I was just so much. I felt horrible because I was like, "What did I do as a person?" But you're still here, so. Like, if you want to be part of us, it's fine. You're still part of my family, regardless. I, I, I should have never threw my opinion out like that, so I'm so sorry that I... No, like, I, too, can band. come off very anal with some of my passion, though, and say someone else's is horrible. Not outright meaning like that. I've done that before. Like, it, it's like when I try and like, say I don't like things, I try and just keep it to a simple... No, that liking. or... I don't like, like it, because if people expect a long detail from me, then... I end up being blunt about things I don't like and whatnot, and it tends to come off even worse. For so instance, I, I just stick to a, I don't like it kind of thing. Yeah, for instance, if someone likes country, I usually do. I usually rail and say country's horrible. Like I don't mean it like to hurt somebody in that sense, because I am passionate when I say a certain thing. But like, yeah, no, like if you like a certain music, it's fine. Everyone's gonna be. Everyone likes what they like. Like, there's no reason for any hate. I mean, I learned that because I used to uh, DJ for people's streams a few years ago, so when they let, they were mostly like pop music, rap music, R&B and stuff, so I, I got used to it. You can I, find some songs to love. I listen to a lot of garbage music, but to be fair, I also listen to pretty much anything. <laughs> T, thank you as well. I love all of you guys. Nas, T, everyone. Happy Friday, everyone. I see. Sorry, what? I said due to time zones, it's like two in the morning, so it's a Saturday for me. Oh, right. I, 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 every I time you so say so like good so afternoon, I'm like morning. Not for you, but it's, uh, it's because it, when I wake up, it's normally just after yeah, twelve yeah. over here. Yeah, no, I, I keep. It's just habit though. When I say good morning, and you're like it's a a afternoon, I'm like you're late. <laughs> oh no, I'm, just, I'm not trying to say it like a sarcastic, oh no, it's the afternoon, no, I'm like, oh no, no that, I'm like, see, oh, that's, yeah. that's, what I, that's what I took it as for a first couple times, I was like, dude, oh yeah, wait, <laughs> my brain does that, I, to be honest, a lot of the things I do, I don't realize, like, I realize I'm doing it, but my body doesn't, if that makes sense, like, I'm like, sometimes I'll be like, you say, I'm no, that's just, that, that's just brought a song to my mind, that yeah, freaking man. Like, 
Tell me no. <laughs> my body, my body, my body is good. telling me yeah. <laughs> I also like the movie that without a pedal. That's where I heard that. I, I, I heard that movie. from American Pie. I'm getting that's so another sick another of fighting it, Rainy. We've been under flood warnings basically this whole week. No, oh, I'm getting the fucking rain. On the fun note, at least it will teach people to swim. <laughs> uh, you don't want to swim in this water. This is this is very dirty water. Ooh, dirty. I mean, it depends if the water if the water if the water levels rise high enough, then you, you might have no choice. <laughs> it's so like it's trying to build a boat. Our lakes and ponds and our lakes and ponds are very dirty. <laughs> dirty. <laughs> yes, they're dirty. You need to turn around and go. You need to start behaving. You dirty, you dirty have to water. <laughs> And like, my backyard is literally so like saturated with water, with the, our, our grass, like you can literally just fall in the grass and make an imprint in the grass. On the fun note, at least you've got a back garden cushion pond down. Hello there. Like, our swimming pool is like so to the damn ass brim. Even better. That's now you've got to add a jacuzzi to it. Well, we have jet. I, we, my, my dad literally built jets in our in our swimming pool just to circulate all the water. Be careful, the jets aren't on the wrong side. It might start flying off. No, that, <laughs> no, we're good. Because of all the water, like all the rain we keep getting, the the the, 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 the pool the pool water is literally getting on the grass, and with the pool having all the chemicals and shit in the water. It's killing our grass! Well, then I'll call the police. Excuse me, my water's murdering my grass. <laughs> what happened? Drowning. <laughs> yeah, you wanna water your, your lawn? Drown your lawn! It's rainwater! Have you wondered what it'd be like to have a wet lawn? Come to our area where it's completely drenched to high heaven and I can't fix my god! Yeah, come to Florida! <laughs> It'll rain in 24 and 7. What's up? Oh, you're in Florida. Most of in Florida. Because technically, Florida is the lightning state. We have the yeah. most lightning strikes in the damn freaking world. I know, there was a big one yesterday. Yes, yeah, so this is how we get fires. Yep. We're glad you're not over here in the UK. The heat of the atmosphere is burning places. I, I, have to, I have to check the friend request thing because I think my thing glitched and it's just like 10 minutes. Bye for now. Emergency announcement. Dark Falls is approaching the sector surrounding the Arctic. Oh, really Jesus, a lot of falls lately. Yeah, mine, it says it's still pending. I'm confused by this. This thought would be confusing. Welcome. Oh, right. I hate when my phone glitches Hello. like this, and I can't <laughs> figure so it out. Like, did he add me yeah, or it, not? Yeah, it's glitched. Hello. I just brought your profile up, and it says to press the add friend button. I yeah, it says either block or remove friends. So it says it's it 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 freaking pending. Bad job. Drop by any time. Bad Discord. Six yeah, four. drop no, by any time. Blame Discord. It's Discord's fault. On a fun note, though, if you uh, have a PlayStation 4 or 5, I think, then uh, they're actually Which more into it. Which quest would you like? Into it. So you yeah, can do more like, I don't. I do not have a PS4 or 5. I'm still in the PS2 era. You'll have to excuse me. One of the best eras, don't worry about it. I, I can't You'll afford new systems me. right now. Just go get Valkyrie Profile 2 some area. You'll, You'll have to excuse me. Because I'm still trying to get a Switch. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not attra like, attracted to the Switch with big IPs like Mario and Zelda, but it has got some good games on there. I only want the Switch even save, I even, Nintendo's have. even saved a couple series. Like, it saved the Bayonetta series, it saved the Number Hero series. Mm, I can't I knock them for that. Switch. Just to play Smash with my friends. I mean, you could do any, I mean, you could just walk over to their house and play for it and go, look, smash! <laughs> I've been expecting yeah, a lot of my friends that had switches, they all moved. 
And they all live in other Drop places by any time. Right now. It's a good thing the switch is in or not. Drop by any time. Hey guys. Hi. Drop by any time. So y'all know, uh, y'all know Animal Crossing on Switch, right? Yes. I, mean, I was forced to buy it. New Horizon? Yes, here's the thing. For all you Bleach fans out there, you can get Ichigo's oh, help at Super Roads. Oh, I thought, I thought you were going to say Toshiro. And Ichigo's. Well, yes, he and just did Toshiro. now. There you go. Yep, that's Toshiro. Toshiro Mitsuba. There, there, there are Wait, how is it? How is he saying pronounced? Is it the it's, Toshiro? It's, or it's Toshiro. It's Toshiro Hitsugaya. Yeah. Toshiro. Yes. To no, to to, to like, like your foot. Toshiro. 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 There you go. I'm trying to say it with an accent. That's why I talk the way I talk sometimes when I pronounce names. Yeah, sometimes the Japanese can pull inside to it down. When I say, when, when I'm... No, because in one minute you can be there going, it's Hitsugaya, Hitsugaya, well, however you want to pronounce it, and then you'll have someone go, it's, it's, it's name's Toshiro Hitsugaya. Yeah. <laughs> I do that when I talk about someone Spanish, I'm like, and then I just try to force a fake accent onto it, just because I'm being funny, I'm not trying to be racist. I'm f I have several friends that are varieties of different ethnicities. I am far from racist. I just like having fun. And I work with a couple of Hispanics, and they're great. I have a lot of friends that have accents. And then they say they don't have accents. Uh, everyone technically has an accent because everyone has a different dialect. However... One's just severely confused. <laughs> however, we are from the U.S., most of us are from other countries, but we're so mixed that we don't really have that kind of accent. So when you talk to somebody who's from the countryside or a different, you know, that's outside of the U.S., it's heavy. Like, I talk to somebody who's very Spanish, and he talks just as, as deep, thick accents, like, fast. He has that da-da-da-da-da speech, for one. Da-da-da-da-da-da. And then he, like, it's hard to understand him, just like how my best friend Irving is. Like, he's from... Mexico, so like it's you can hear the deepness in his tone and then the way he speaks. I love his name, makes me think of Final Fantasy VIII. A lot of people <laughs> think I have that and I have an accent because I'm from New York. So a lot of people think, oh, you have a New York accent. I'm like, no, what's well, a New York accent? You guys will speak differently to how I do. Everyone will speak differently to everyone. Because uh, when from. we first moved, my mom told my mom told me uh, that someone mentioned that they heard that she sounded and talked differently towards to like how Pennsylvania people talk I guess I don't know but, but like, I wanted someone to explain to me what a New York accent was so I can figure out are you sure I have a New York accent hey it's I'm walking here oh yeah hey I'm walking here <laughs> <laughs> all right a lot of people are stereotypical with yeah, New York because that's how they how they think we talk care. Didn't Al Pacino also say that in a movie? Yeah, everyone compares the New York people to him because that one particular line. Yeah, because that one scene that was actually unscripted, where a car actually all the time it was, and he actually like ran him over and he turned around and just the uh, the funny of the car going, "Hey, I'm watching here." Yeah, but now every every person that looks at a New Yorker thinks, "Oh, can you say that one line that that guy said?" I'm like, we all don't say that. You're being a stereotype right now. Yep. <laughs> yep. You can literally point at someone when they ask you that. It's like, oh, you're being stereotypical right now. Not every New Yorker says that line. Robo Doom. It, it's it's like you. It, it's uh, I don't want to be mean to you because I know you're from the UK, but it's like walking up to someone that's in the UK and asking them something I'm about really the UK. Yeah, I, I ended by the way because I try and disassociate myself as much as I can from this world. Yeah, I, a lot of people uh, say, oh, you're from London. You want your tea and crumpets. I made a shitty quest because I'm going through but all no, the quests. It's even more funny because I know why I have an accent because of where I'm from, but it's weird because I keep getting people saying that part of the accent does actually sound British, but the words and the way I talk is... Well, I can hear so you're from... That's, I can... that's why I say that I'm confused. My yeah, I hear the British accent. I can hear it, though. From, from an American, I can hear it. <clears throat> yeah. 
I know several. I know several people who are. I know several people who stream and are from the UK. I. You're not the only one. Like hit woman, you can hear it. You. You can hear it on Solly. Even though I try and actually like use as little British spains and slangs and all that stuff as I can, because I literally just try to. Listen. And then so there's people like. More like that. And then there's people from Canada that I watch. Who you can hear it from them too. They, 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 that, that, that's another. That's another one of those stereotypical that everyone assumes Canada go a or whatever it is. The the a they have. Yeah, the the a they have. Like not everyone speaks like that. And not everyone says it though. Yeah, exactly. I, if, I, if I heard someone say that and I was Canadian, the first thing I would have turned around and said, I'm not, I didn't know who we were fun to. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. like, hey. Because I don't know how to do their A. Yeah. It's not It's not the, It's not. not the Fonzie A. It's a different A. It's not that Fonzie A. It's more like a simple A kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Like, hey. exactly and it's not. Because I do A. I say A. I say A. But not the way they do. They do have a. They do have an A, but it's not. It's not like it's. It's stereotypical though. When everyone assumes that everyone uses. It. That's what I think. I think the UK has more furries than the US does. Does it really? I think so. I'm. I'm not a furry, so I don't follow that fandom. I'm not sure how far into it you are. I, I, I think I had well, red things that the UK. From what I know of, by the way, just think of humanoid animals. Well, yep. They're yeah, called, called humanized animals. Well, I mean, it depends. Some furries are... Not all furries are the same. There's varying degrees no, of furries. Yeah, it, 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 varies from a simple cos it varies from a simple cosplay to... To uh, being just, bestiality, yes. Uh, screen friendly, not safe for work. <laughs> yeah, exactly! I, I feel like I get offended when people say, Oh, you're a furry, and I say, Oh, furry, and I'm like, yeah, no, no, they're not. not. Okay. So I knew, I knew a guy I went to school with. He's an awesome dude. He's a furry, but he never... I don't know if he dresses up. He doesn't do me to be like that. But he's married. I know he's got a family and everything. He's an normal guy, right? And he drew... He's an artist. He drew anthropomorphic humanoid animals. Like anime. Like, kind of like... It, it kind of looked like anime. In a way, but it was, it, 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 it was cool. But he I, he was a furry in that regard. I don't know if he dressed up as it, but he drew it. And it wasn't I sexual. Draw, I draw my character. My Sonic is the character. Everyone's like, oh, you draw Sonic, go see the Oh, you're definitely a furry. I'm like, yeah. okay, uh, no, that does not no. mean anything either way. That's if you're into that. In my, in my head, I'd see that as both well, clearly you're a big Sonic fan. So That's you it. That to be the main that point is... of where you're originally. Well, Sonic is a hedgehog. He has. I know, but if your inspiration some... for that OC came from Sonic, Sonic? then where's the... I don't see where the problem You're is. You're not a furry. It'd be like if it's I a... could draw and it'd be like if I could draw and I made I made an OC and I based it on my Final Fantasy IV in Vieira. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, I, I really, I don't see how people just have problems with in a furry uh, suit, but. I don't have that money and the time to make a first. You're not. Right you're now. not weird. Also, for one, you're a nerd like the rest of us. You're not taught. You're not sitting there, enjoying, thinking about fucking other animals. Not saying that all furries no. do, but there are them that are, there are people yes, that are out there that do that. And and that that ex that porn exists. I'm just saying, like you're not there's, that. There's weird. a lot out there, and I think that's why a lot of people that say. Oh, they point to you and say, "Oh, you're a furry. Do, do you do that in suit?" I'm like, "Yeah, if furry being no. being homosexual, trans, it's one of those things where it's like, oh my God, you're this. Ew, you're all the yeah, same." I think I've, I've noticed that since like the past couple of years is we're starting to become a, like a, in an age where people just want to shit on anything and everything for the sake of it, and well, they're looking for just like, any simple reason to do it. First it was being black, then it now it's being gay, now it's being trans. It's going down every freaking cycle in the book. Next it's, it's gonna be Hispanic. Soon it's gonna like I I like we also had issues with Japan, so there's Asia. Wait, hold like, on, you forgot one, you forgot one. Video games was one at some point. That that is someone, true. Nerd nerddom. The nerd fandom. Yep. The nerd fandom in general also. Yep, and Every, everything's you gaming. You either call yourself a nerd, a geek, or a dork. And gaming is a lot of problems and cause for violence. GTA well, and this and that. Music. 
bat music in I mean, video games you... cause your violence. I'm sorry, Marilyn Manson didn't cause fucking <clears throat> the school shooting, Columbine, that is. Mm -mm. I've just thought of something that'll make you laugh. Mm. Uh, same as, you know, Final Fantasy VIII. So there was a, there, I saw this once, it's on a YouTube video. Someone tried to blame Final Fantasy VIII for the reason they killed someone. But when they looked at the, when they tried to obviously investigate and whatnot, they weren't even at that part in the game or anywhere near anything. <laughs> ah? Okay. What? Why? Why try and blame a game that you barely touched? I don't even the know. You did this? Yeah, I don't At even know. Manhunt, when they did that, it made sense because you can still kill people in different ways. I'm not going to name it just in case, but that game was a bit brutal on the things that you can do. I mean, Someone same with GTA. To recreate a few things. Same for GTA, but that doesn't necessarily excuse your actions. That, that like, yeah, but it's like that, that's another thing. Like people try and say like, oh, video games cause this. They put, they played this part of their game. So that's the re like, they okay, do. the real problems most of the time is their upbringing. If someone had a bad upbringing, they're gonna, it's gonna come to them and they're gonna do, whether they're married and have kids, they're gonna treat them like shit most of the time. They're either gonna kill them, they're gonna hit them, they're gonna murder people. It, not everyone goes through the same trauma the same, but it, it, it's generally what the result is. Video games, in my opinion, if you let something like a, a hobby, I know video games is more, to, more than a hobby to me, but like if you let something like that control your life to the point where you're killing people or harming others, you are a loser who deserves to go. And I'm it's sorry. not the video game's fault that you're acting this way. No, this it's your life. Something's head. wrong with your life. I get it. Games are an escape to me. But I don't sit there and... Yep. And, and trust me, you guys have heard me, bitch. Trust me. Mm -hmm. I don't sit there and say anything is that because gaming or my friends. Yep. It's my... A lot of it's me, but I have have issues. And a lot of it is caused from life. Do. And we all and, deal with it in different ways the, the i guys, i have a hard time play. coping because no one really listened to me which is why i have moments where i'm emotional with you guys because i finally have that it has video games actually do more for people than people realize yeah i can I, attest i have to say one I thing video games help me through a lot of issues and whatnot so i kind of learned all my grammar and words and how to pronounce that is true video. like there's a lot of even if you're not playing even if you're playing one of those kind of games especially if you have children there's a lot of games that ex teach you common sense more than some people's parents do like they teach you how to read it, it may even teach you chores like it depends oh, on the game you're playing like it, it'll oh, teach sorry, you. Just wants to say, teach them Kingdom Hearts, the power of friendship. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as a kid, I, as a kid, me and my friends always wanted to play Blitzball and shit. From Dark Falls. Like I've always like would pick up a stick and be like, I have a sword. It's that kind of thing. Yeah. Inspirational things. <laughs> in, in, like I never went out and wanted to beat the shit out of people and think they're heartless. <laughs> As you know, as you know, it's Roxas. I found the stick. My stick can become a keyblade. What? My stick can open up doors. Yes. Yes, exactly. I was like, e oh, I'd love to know that logic. I have stick. This is stick. I can swing stick. I get the keyblade. I get stick. I get, stick. I get I the keyblade is is from the heart, but how do you turn a stick into said keyblade? Oh, you are I going to stick all into the sword. bullshit that Dark Road has uncovered. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad to be able to dive into f a million things at once. I've been hyped. Which I'm waiting for four in Dark Road. Has I'm been waiting. Shared on the Master Masters, Vayne, or what happened at uh, back in Scarlet Red Kylum. So much has been brought to light, and it still makes us think, for fuck's sake, no more. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, oh my god. I know Xehanort's not done fully, but god damn it. Uh, I have a feeling that. It, not saying or. Wait, I got it. Have you beat Kingdom Hearts 3? I gotta ask. Before, I, just in case. I have, yes. Uh, okay, so you know how that Zane or is like. Yeah. Uh, the focus is not that Zane or now. It's I now know. on the younger one. Yeah. Well, they did describe as Zane or it's arc is over so i completely like i was like oh yeah they know done oh yeah no not really I say yes and no because of what dark road revealed that young zayn or the young well, the young alternate one that we have is uh 
a bit more to him than is leading on. To be fair, I could have. Yo, three. Sheesh, nuts. Nah, Salas in the house. Indeed. It's always T. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, no, that's what I read that. Square it revealed that. The scene where um, uh, the Master of Masters was talking to Young Zaino in the Keyblade graveyard. Yes. Where he's like, so, how was it? Like, how they're talking. That Zaino, th th there's something with him. Because, mm -hmm. th especially with what Dark Road showed, I'm not going to tell you. But with what nah. it's. We're not done with Young Zaino. Oh, no, I know we're not. Well, they introduced him for one. We're far from it. They, I'm, I'm I mean, assuming his goal is the same. I mean, fair enough on the introduction of let's put my body in different time on uh, different parts of time and whatnot for a, a future plan, future plan kind of thing. Because that's, that's, that's already been saying so since freaking Kingdom Hearts. Well, just relaxing. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. But like the rest of it in terms of like the way Young Zane talks to bring up distance and the fact of how does he know the power of waking? How does he know of the price to pay? So you think of everyone else, I've, no, but I know, but hear me out. Look at every other single member of the organization, right? Not one is a Keyblade builder, but him. Yes, I know. Exactly. And and the extra person that you find out that at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, I won't say. But yeah. <laughs> no, I... That, like, how did he, the young Xehanort one, know of the power of waking and know specifically of a price being paid? That's why I'm just like, we're not done with you, are we? <laughs> no. Something's gonna happen. I just don't... I just don't... The whole... Uh, time travel. And uh, obviously uh, the big-ass mystery with the Master of Masters. We don't know who he is, what he is, and what he's doing, and what he's up to. Kind of thing. He's like the... I'd say he's the weird anomaly, because he's like on neutral. He's I mean, I can already... see the neutral zone. I can already tell the way the story has already presented itself. He's not another Xehanort. <laughs> no, he's not. It, it, from the, the everything that they show us from Union Cross, like the normal Union Cross, and uh, if you've seen the Unchained Key movie, like it, he's he's a light person. He's he's about the light. He's a he's a yep. like a good person. My theory was he, easy. He's a good future... person that dangles in the twilight, as I'd say. Yes, my future. My my original thought was he's a future version of Sora somehow that got that never. Yeah, I can agree to a point, but the personality throws it off. Yeah, no, it does. It's not. It's definitely not Roxas either. That, that's what's making me throw off that it has there, nothing there to do no with Sora. Way that Sora will get that type of personality if that makes and sense. power. Especially also, the he's been through. It, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's even a matter of power. Really, just look at all the shit he's been through the past fifteen years. <laughs> Like, that will take a toll on him, and obviously Kingdom Hearts 3 did also take a toll, and hopefully, with Kingdom Hearts 4 and the more mature look it's taking, it, that's going to take a little bit more serious role for Sora. Here's well, hoping. Hoping, <laughs> hoping that night, they can... Good night, everyone. Good night. I mean, it's Sora. I really I'm hope... Gonna, I'm going to go to bed. Alright, you have a good one. Yeah, I'm really hoping they can actually finally give Sora some development. Adult they did with three, like they fought uh, a little bit with three, they tiny bit. I mean, Keyblade like they're giving Kyrie the a we... bit. I mean, think yeah. of what we all got from Sora. The happy-go-lucky, gives no fucks, will do anything for his friends character, and then three semi broke him a little bit at that Keyblade graveyard. Like they tried to give him emotion, and my reaction was like, fucking fine. Another reaction other than cheese. <laughs> yeah. Uh. But like in terms of Master Masters, that uh, I, I don't see Sora's personality becoming that because it it seems like they're trying to go from his happy-go-lucky to a semi-serious happy-go-lucky kind of thing, like more Goku but or serious. No, basically he's Toby. He reminds me of I Toby from that. Naruto. He reminds me of Toby from Naruto before he swapped over to full serious mode. I mean, overall, Sora, period, is just Goku. <laughs> look at the exactly. characteristics, look at the training, look at the power. Look at how they approach things. It's rare they get serious. Yet yeah. they have this uncontrollable power that that makes them the chosen one, or the one that stands out. <laughs> <sighs> uh, and I'm just like, someone mature him up, please. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, that like they're giving Kyrie some love. I'm hoping... I'm hoping with we, her as we involvement. Need is a game. We need a game with Axel and Kyrie. I yes. want to play their training. 
Yeah, I want to literally play their training and see how they bounce off each other because look at how close they became in those cutscenes in three. How Kyrie would notice things when Axel was looking down or looking away at a simple glance and shit like that. Like clearly they bonded and connected in the end Sid's little time scape thing where obviously time don't flow. Exactly. And all their and every their relationships are all they all mirror each other. His friendship with Later, Roxas bro. and Shion. Like they mirror the each connection. other, yes. Cause it's a good Sora, thing as well. Kyrie and Riku, we all, definitely. We have like multiple trios. We've got multiple connections with those trios as well, so we can have them all interacting and getting along. And I'm happy that they're all here, and it doesn't feel like an ass pole, especially bringing Terra yeah. out. Yeah, fucking. That, I didn't even suspect that. I did not either. I, I legit thought he was literally just in the, the still in the body after the end of Birth Boy sleep. Like, fair enough. They're gonna have a fight over over Will or Soul for the next ten years, kind of thing. But like. No, you ha you're actually that. I what? yes, I knew he was there as Ansem, but what the hell? I mean, I had a feeling Guardian. There was something to Guardian, but I did not think it was that. <laughs> that when Freed did that twist, I was like, "You fucking." That was fuck. yeah. You, I remember that from my live stream. I was like, "Oh my fucking god!" They didn't. <laughs> they didn't. I've been fighting this fucker for many years. And I did not. And, 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 and no, we're beating him up. <laughs> yes, I didn't realize this entire time, even before Birth by Sleep was even a thing, that Terra was that a thought. Like it doesn't feel like an yeah. asshole, a retcon. You know, like how Dragon Ball has that where they take a thing and then they change it later because they didn't plan this. Oh, God, yeah. Like Kingdom Hearts does have I mean... moments, but it feels planned. Like they plan from the beginning to add Terra as this entire massive involvement because he's birthed by sleep the start of like this some of the start of the series yeah like it makes yeah, a lot of sense crazy. when you actually think kingdom hearts is confusing it can really annoy it, you but it actually makes it can, sense it really does when you put the effort in to put the storyline down and sit there for like and like have those moments where you say like take a weekend to just watch every single goddamn cutscene on repeat because you just want to Yep. And obviously, the more you watch it, the more you can, like each time you'll notice something more and different being added. I love you too, thing. Yeah. So it's I like, yeah, it's like with, with Kingdom Hearts, when you're binge watching the cutscenes, you're always learning something new each go around. I well, well while obviously having the memory of the last thing you found out the last time you watched. So it's like, say, you find out the mystery of the, the secret keyblade wielder of the ending of 3, which I won't spoil. But like, yeah. That, that plot twist, like, you, you watch it through, you see that the first time, and you go, oh, that's, that's that, that, I didn't expect that to happen, that, that's still around, oh my god, and then you say you watch that cutscene three more times, and you go, okay, so that's, that's that person, that person, that person, that person, that person, that person, I know the name of that keyblade, I know that, 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 that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which quest are you up for? Get to you, you no more, you brilliant bastard. <laughs> Come back anytime. Um, I'm gonna do another normal quest. Yeah, I'm doing every quest. So. I was waiting. I'm just waiting for you. Like, oh, sorry. No, like I did do like <laughs> one basic quest. I apologize. We were just talking. I um, but I did already do like one basic. But but one basic normal quest. You can join this one. It's just a normal quest. Though. Like it's nothing, Sorry. no, no major boss or anything. Sorry, but yeah, okay, like I. I can up random things for you for bonus experience. That, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know if you were paying attention to that, the game. I tried to stay. I did. You and uh, Sor um, Rose. I almost said sorceress. You are sorceress. You and Rose were chatting when I tried to chime in and say I started a mission. My bad. You are golden, my friend. At least you were talking though. You weren't bored sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a potion person. Ah, I can't be too. Oh, yeah, don't get your yep. uh, joy boost and experience boosters. Yeah, that's wow. right. 50% increase for half hour. Can't, can't do that. Yeah. Actually, I, I usually save that for like bosses. I did completely forget about it. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. You love your gun blades, huh? Yeah, they are great. <laughs> Don't. I mean, I mean, if you if you like press the timing for it, it's pretty fast. No, it is. I also, uh, I don't know how much you dabbled in the original PSO, but I like how you can actually attack infinitely just by holding the button. 
the original, the original, you know how, okay, you see it how here if you attack once, twice, then three times, you see how it's kind of like once at, at the end of each combo? Yeah. This is how you attack the PSO. You literally do a one, <laughs> two, three hit combo, and that was it. For every animation was the same, even your power hit. So you would do it a power attack. There's no, like, photon arts. There's... Each weapon has a third. There's three different abilities. You got your weak attack, your normal, you know, your normal, your strong, and then your special. Your special has, like, your power. If you have your weapon has, like, an elemental effect, like freeze, that's how you would do it. So that's kind of like your photon art in that game. But to be honest, the weapons to me look cool in that. I love collecting them. You Code. However, it's, it's one of those RPGs where shit doesn't really show up on you, even though this doesn't do it that much either, but you do have a lot of costume options in this one. Complete. Yeah, but I love the costume. <laughs> yeah, the character creation in this is amazing. It's not as good as, say, Code Vein, but I like it. Completed. I managed to get Momo to try it yesterday, and let's just say she had fun with the boot slider. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> she was enjoying those sliders. She ended up with thick Yeah, I was gonna... S that's one point I always throw out in this game, because someone, I forgot it was earlier today or yesterday, someone yeah, mentioned yeah. on stream there was a girl with big breasts. So I was like, yeah, yeah, character creation's fun, you can play with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't really do too much of my character. For what it is, if you're into it, jiggle physically. Oh, I mean, I love character creation, especially when it's detailed and looks cool like this. Have you seen Code Vein? It's an anime soul flick. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. I, I, I started playing it and then realized it was a Souls game, so... Like, yeah, no, but, like, yeah, the character... Uh, I like the, the anime, like, graphics and that a lot, so the character creation in that is amazing for me. Like, I know the game's not, not good for you, but, like, character creation is fun for me. Like, Dark Souls has shitty-ass yeah, character kind of creation. Funny, uh, yeah. uh, there's a, apparently, from what I don't know, because I haven't played it, but from what I've been told, there's a... Something moving towards the end, there's a box that looks very gaudy. Hmm. Interesting. I have not beaten Code Vein, nor have I played it. I've heard it's a good game, though. It's, uh, well, I'll pass it up I appreciate you on the. Yeah. I appreciate you, Blue Flowers, on the Hydrate. Thank you. I'm having issues with my Twitch. It's not letting me type. I had that as well. Oh, mine's doing it like constantly now. It keeps saying like connecting to the chat or something like that all the time, and then either that or the the, the, the screen screen itself. And I've got my tablet is like not buffering and loading. I'm like, what? The fuck? Yeah, I don't know why. Mine's been doing that like on and off for the best. Has it just been jumping and from back from like connecting to chat kind of thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How much have you dabbled in PSO2 so far? Is this your most? Uh. Okay. okay. Yeah. I I don't. I haven't advanced the story yet. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Dark Falls, like, the mission is going on. Like, I love the Falls fighting this. You fight parts of them. And then his main body. It, I, it's awesome. Like, falls, if you don't know too much, like, Falls is a recurring villain. He's been in it since the original. So if you do play Fantasy As Star in, 1... As in, like, 1, 2, 3, 4. Hmm? As in, like, he's in 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. And he's got lore in, uh... Where he just basically reincarnates, basically. For the fact that they're online, they have to confuse him and another boss by the name of Overflow, which is a, a, a humanoid who gave himself up to science, so he's basically, like, robotic. Giant robot. Oh, like those, uh, those robot things. Yeah, he's they, 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 uh, He's a big, giant dude with a sword. Um, him yeah, and... Yeah. Yeah, basically. In order for them to beat Falls, they had to fuse him and flow together into a character. He's in the card game, Battle Revolution Episode 3. Yes. I don't know how much connections this game has to PSO, but I do know it's an actual sequel, not my name. Directly you imagine the code. 
Yeah, but balls. Yes. I'm assuming you played the first one. And it was like, it's about the first ones, I think it's it was in it. I, yeah, I, nice the original is I played the first three, and then Fantasy Star Online, I played Universe. So was, I played the PS2, Xbox, PSP version, and I uh, played Zero. So I played pretty much all of them. That's what I know of. Except for four. There is four, and I think there's a couple other ones that aren't, like, mainline, if I recall correctly. Um, like, there are Fantasy Star games that I think that aren't numbered. I know yeah. of some of the games, but I've not, like, played them. Except, like, Universe and this. Yeah. Like I said, if you want to come... I was gonna say, like, if this is an actual sequel kind of thing, then at some point they're gonna say something that'll make you go, Ah! That's Hi. the connection. <laughs> yeah. Well, the only connection I've seen so far is that Falls and PSO has a thing where he cannot exist in the physical realm, so he needs a host. Um, in this, in this, you actually see the host, and he actually is in control of Falls. So that was my, like, ah, yes, <laughs> moment. Even though I don't know if that, yeah, I don't know if that's, like, a nod, but that's part of the actual story, and I know of Falls, and that's really all I know of this game's canon in any, in any way. Speaking of how you worded that, I'm gonna bring it back around to Kingdom Hearts. It yep. kind of makes me think the Master of Masters is up to something like that, because clearly he's must, he must be guiding that young Xehanort, because of how they keep talking to each other. Oh, I can, I definitely know that Xehanort's being used. This guy is too happy. Again, he reminds me so much of Toby. I'm sorry. He just does. I mean, as he, as he Something's says, coming. when they first ever see him, this world is just too small. <laughs> But like, I know something's coming, definitely. <laughs> oh, you'll be waiting. You'll be enjoying it. Oh, uh, I'm hyped yeah. for... I'll be playing... Uh... Okay, hold on, I will say this, though. Do you know about Break being able to do what he can do? Mm, uh, no. As in, like, there's a reason his name was Break and uh, Birth Boy Sleep and what he's called Sigbar in... Uh... Uh, but that's, that's, no, well, well aside common. aside that he's became a heartless and then a nobody. But I know he's mm. also Lushu. I know he's also Lushu. Okay, so you know how he says that I've been from any assemblance and send, meaning he can body swap. Ah, okay. That see, these are minor points that I probably would either miss or don't recall. <laughs> Thank he says you. It at the end, when they open mm -hmm. it, because uh, if you remember, what's the first thing that Gula says? Is that you, Lushu? You look different. And he's like, I've been through many assemblances since then. <laughs> I was like, ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. body swap. <laughs> See, these are minor details I probably didn't think. He Here's the thing. These are things that I don't, like, outright question. I'll just hear it. I'll be like, okay. I'm that kind of person. I kind of just well, go with well, it. You know what put, I mean? Well, let's put it this way. Let's make a fun connection for you that you'll enjoy. All right? What was the keyblade did he have in that cutscene? Uh, I don't recall. Sorry. He had Xehanort's Keyblade in his uh, hand, which means he had that Keyblade before Xehanort, which can make you think, did he teach Xehanort at the body swapping, or did he teach him the Keyblade, how to use it, did he pass it on to him? Okay, so so you're telling me, okay, well, which makes sense why he's Lushu, because isn't he, he's no, basically he, the red. Lushu has always had the no-name Keyblade since yeah. the, that. Yeah, uh, I'm just saying, like, that rock. would make sense that Xehanort's being used. But also in being turned because he's been, he's That's with the I master. Mean, like when you rewatch, you notice different things and connections. Like yeah, it, when you watch the Union Cross movie, you know when they're looking. Actually, no, in the beginning of Kingdom Hearts three, when Young Zaynor and Ericus look up, they see the No Name Keyblade on the wall. But then mm -hmm. if you go further back into the Union Cross movie that they made, who gave Lushu the Keyblade? Master of Masters. So he's yeah. always had the, that No Name since the Master of Masters gave it him. But then you make the connection of, why does the Xehanort's Keyblade look exactly the same? <laughs> Which means it must have passed down to him somehow. Yeah. But And also, in <laughs> Birth Boy's further my little thought train, um, who did, who did uh, Zigbar Break follow in that move, in that game? And all those cutscenes? What was he saying throughout the whole game? That, that old cult's gonna bequeath me his Keyblade. Uh-huh. He's yeah. been hinting at like that connection like the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Especially yeah. when they was it was Kingdom Hearts 3. And he's like, I'm gonna get a keyblade. Like, e like you can have a keyblade. What happened at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3? <laughs> he the keyblade. <laughs> yeah. 
it's like it's little connections like that. And you're just clearly like, okay, he's more pivotal to the plot. Obviously, the master of masters is. You want to try? And now young Zaino. I don't mind. Do you want to try this urgent quest? I'll press yes for it. It popped up. It says 20, but you're nearly there, and I'll get some experience out of it. Yeah, we'll be it's, fine. It's falls. Part of him, it's a bad guy that I don't know. I'm not gonna. I, I did search multiple blocks, so hopefully more people can join. I like that feature though too. PSO, believe it or not, is a bit different the way they have it. Like the ships in PSO, they are for purely like having it so you can be with other people. If this one's too full, you would go to a different ship. You are you can't play with your friends the same way. You can in this one you can't because it's tied to different characters. You'll have one ship will be two characters, another ship. In PSO, you can go to either ship. Fine. It's just another, it's like a lobby. You know how the lobbies in this are just like, oh, this one's full, yeah. go to a different lobby. That's yeah, how ships like work in PSO, but there's also lobbies within those ships, if that makes sense. I don't like how they changed it. Yeah. Like, it's like each, each ship has its own set. Yep. So that's how, yeah, that was never a thing before in the original. So this is Falls Arms. This, Falls Elder is this one's name, but we're fighting with Falls. That's him in the background, man. This changes every year. <laughs> okay, man. I just lost his ass, but you know. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I don't even. I love that. This also is amazing, too, is that you can play the game with multiple different parties. Like, me and you are a party, and then we got these other people. And it's and it's not just raid fights, it's the areas, too. Like, there's, if you notice as you play the game, you'll see it's a multi area party. Or multi -party area. There's some things that you uh, have to do in like the world, like called fates, which are like uh, big community things that you can do. And uh, there's big ones, that, like end game ones, where you farm them for like mound, soil, and stuff and whatnot. But when you do come all come together, everyone's like making different groups, different parties, coming all together, soloing even, and then we all just freaking like one on it <laughs> and whatever it is. Yeah. What? What? Uh. Level is your mag, or is where is your mag? I have no idea where my mag is. Do you have it equipped? Yeah, no. Go to your item menu and hit mag and make sure. Cause it's annoying in this one. Oh no, I've got a speed for little thing. Yeah, I was gonna say cause I don't see it, so I was like curious. Unless you don't see it here, so I see Come mine. <laughs> I don't know how to bring it. Oh, uh, you go to you go to your first menu and it'll say mags, and then you would go to that and you would go to equip. In this uh, one, it's it in this one it's annoying. In the original PSO, it's an item that you actually put onto your character. This one, it's different. But yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely want I that have on. A menu there you go. Yeah, you definitely want that on because it, the it, mag is basically your power. Ah. Oh. Yeah, if you don't know your mag. You're basically do level and gain strength, but your mag is basically your for, oh, your your overall damage. Your 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 overall whatever your focus is, your build, that and your skills. So whatever you feed your mag, say you're you're a you're a physical guy like I am. So you're gonna be feeding it more yeah. melee, you know melee. The PSO they changed it in PSU. They made it in PSU started it where you could feed it weapons. Like the original, you can only feed it certain like so you can consumables. Feed it yeah, in PSO, you feed it, like, consumable items, like heals. In PSU uh -huh. on, they made it so you could feed it weapons and such. They they did a lot of changes. There's a lot of differences. But, yeah, I'm going... I Normally, this one, I usually went a bit more... I'm going to kind of trade up more, like, Dark Souls and go split. But PSO, I always did physical. Because they definitely didn't have all... It was only f uh, five main stat or four main stats on the original with your... Strength, your defense, gonna, your magic, and stuff. I'm like guns and swords, because obviously gunplay feature. Yeah. So I'm going to try and like, put it out on both. See if I can be arranged if they're flying. Cause like, not all my moves are going to land on TSO2 with how it's mechanical. Oh, yeah. Me mechanically. That's so, why I um, love the, Yeah. That's why I love that you can freely change classes in this. Uh, the original, you were locked into your job you and your character's like race and shit. Oh yeah, god, yeah, I remember that on PSU. You were freaking locked the first thing you yep. picked. 
and it was permanent permanent as well so you had to make another character uh, and you just like yep. no that was pso and psu beast is only psu so far uh, that's a class to psu I they had a beast name on this one mm, they yeah, there's a summoner on PSO2 over here. There's a, a There is a summoner. One. There might be a beast in this. I only know of some of the base classes. There's a lot of unlockables. It reminds when me I a lot of 10 2. Ice game, I kind of kept watching all the bloody updates. What did you do? Like, <laughs> and, um, and one of them showed that, like, there's, there's a new class where you can actually use monsters and whatnot. So I don't know if that's actually on this one in Genesis. Yeah. We can try again. Do, 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 do. It gives you good shit. I mean, if if nothing else, like me and Zero, my buddy Tom, we did this fight against this giant ass boss that like walks through the town. Like it's just a fun dumb raid fight because you're either using your physical weapons or you're using like, proton, like the guns. There's like these, you can like get on these like railgun spots for certain fights. It's cool.